All right, so the fastest way to go through Team Affinity, right? There's one for each division. Pick any division you want. Now, as you go through this XP path, I would just start with the moments. Go through each moment, rough shot, however many there are. There's going to be more in the seasons that come later. So right now there's only five. I would think there will be more later. Anyway, you're going to get a pack at the very first, um, the very first item on the XP path. All right. So it's live series players from that division. As you get these packs, add the players you get for the teams to a separate squad. All right, you can make multiple squads. So you can go up to the top. You can make up to four extra squads and start a new one. I have one here. So I want to make sure everyone on the squad is from the AL East. So you're going to add this team, make this team full of AL East players if you want to do the AL East um, division first. All right. And then as you play, you're going to do conquest map so you can knock out the team affinity conquest map. When you finish the Team Affinity Conquest map, you're going to get XP towards that division. As you're playing these, you'll get the XP for the missions while you're trying to beat the Conquest map. Alright, each mission, there's uh, multiplayer missions and single player missions, and you get rewarded more for higher difficulties. So the mission on Hall of Fame is to get extra base hits with ALEs players. Legend is just to get on base, so you can definitely get that done and get good practice on Legend. And then All Stars RBIs, alright? Then the others are any difficulty um, with AL East players getting hits, home runs, strikeouts, and total bases. So then that'll get you along this path and it'll get you the better cards. And then as you get those cards, you can add them to your collection. So basically, it's pretty simple. You want to do missions, add the players to your squad. And Sorry, you want to do moments, add the players to your squad, and then play conquest, get the missions done in that conquest, and then also play against the CPU on whatever difficulty you want to get the rest of the missions done. Now, an additional thing you don't have to do, this is optional. I'm going to do it on this channel and bring, try to bring the Oakland Athletics to the World Series in the game mode March to October. In March to October, you do get XP towards Team Affinity and across all programs in Diamond Dynasty as you play and hit the milestones in March to October. So March to October is like a condensed or a shortened franchise mode um or you know a full season on against the computer and as you get the all-star break end of season alds nlcs you know and world series you get xp you get more xp for higher higher difficulties and like i said it applies to all dd programs okay so you can do that it's optional um i'd recommend it if you want to get it done fast and then same thing with exchanges you don't have to do it and i actually don't recommend doing it because you want to save these cards for the live series collection so if you have extra cards, you can exchange them to get more XP and get it done faster. I would save that till last until you get the rest of these done. As you play the game, you might get season one vouchers. You can exchange these as well. There's nothing else that you can do with them. So make sure you do check your inventory and see if you got any uh, vouchers or forgot about any vouchers that you didn't use yet. As you play the game, you'll get them and then make sure you exchange them in the team affinity program to get the XP for that. All right. Um, so that's pretty much it. That's the, the rundown of Team Affinity. It's really simple. The, the cards get better as the game goes along. Um, the grind becomes more familiar and usually a little bit easier too. So you'll know how to do it faster. All right.